Hey guys, how's it going? So, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about what is the perfect rifle cartridge? So every video that I've made about firearms, about guns, about rifle cartridges, I put into a playlist called the perfect rifle cartridge. I'm still not very good at YouTube, so I'm not sure if you see that on your end when you go to my homepage, but on my homepage, they're all in that same folder. It's got that same playlist, perfect rifle cartridge. And I've never actually answered the question. So today on this video, I'm gonna give you an answer. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what the perfect rifle cartridge is. Stay tuned. So I've had several videos in this playlist. Some have been rifle cartridge reviews. Some have just been talks. Um, some have kind of went into the history of rifle cartridges. I've also had some little series like the best all around rifle cartridge in which I picked the seven millimeter odd eight. And then I had the best duo and I picked the six millimeter Creedmoor and the 280 Ackley improved. And then if it were to be three, I had one video where I said, if I could pick three, it'd be the six millimeter Creedmoor, the seven millimeter odd eight and the 300 Winchester short mag. <clears throat> Those were, were what I considered to be the best all around rifle cartridges for all the needs that I could think of in my own life that I would want to use them for. So that kind of would should give you a kind of a glance of what I'm thinking. And so if you ask me the question, what is the best rifle cartridge? Well, based on, on the work I've already done and the thinking and research, I would look at it more of a sub in the subjective way and say, I would say the best rifle cartridge is the seven millimeter odd eight. So that is my answer to that. But what if you said, yeah, but give us the objective best. <laughs> in other words, what's the greatest, not your personal opinion, what you think's the best, but what's the greatest and give us a, an, an objective sense of that. Well, you can't really do that. You can't really, because my, what I think is going to be different than everybody else. And that's the definition of, of being subjective. But if I had to give it a shot, I mean, if I really had to just try my very best to be objective and tell you what I think is the greatest rifle cartridge of all time, I think I do know. And this is what I would say. This cartridge has been around for 115 years. Whatever this cartridge is, it has to be popular, right? If it's the greatest, objectively, it can't be, you know, some niche caliber that only a few people care about or some wildcat. It has to be wildly popular, okay? And this particular caliber, even after 115 years, is still popular. This particular caliber has, has had great success in the military in two world wars. It's had great success in long range shooting in the fifties, in the Wimbledon matches. It was one of the best. And since the fifties, up until this very day, it's been one of the best cartridges for hunting. Whether you're talking about planes game hunting in Africa, whether you're talking about hunting in Europe or New Zealand, for Red Stag or whatever the case, and definitely, for sure, North America. It's been North America's hunting caliber. Is it the most powerful round? No. Is it the flattest shooting? No. Does it have the most efficient case? No. But there's nothing it can't do. It can do everything. I don't care even if you're talking about dangerous game, it can do it. It might not be ideal, but it can do it. Even if you're talking about varminting, is it ideal for that? No. Can it do it? Yes, it can. And with today's modern propellants and bullet technology and really good brass like Lapua brass, it's better than ever. And it's still popular. It's still chambered in tons and tons and tons of different cartridges and different brands. It won't go away, it won't die. It's a vampire. And no matter how many times you stake it in the heart, it will not die. 
Not that I want it to die, but it just always sticks around. Every new cartridge that comes out tries to explain how it's better than this cartridge at something, and it probably is, but not at everything. And if you guys know anything about firearms, you know exactly the one I'm talking about. It's a 30 6 I say the 30 6 is the greatest rifle cartridge of all time. I didn't say perfect, I haven't got to that yet, but the greatest, objectively speaking, the greatest. It's a North American cartridge, but it's worldwide known. I don't think, I don't think there's any cartridge in the world that would be considered of as a greater cartridge. Are there some more popular today? Yeah. Are there some better at certain things? Definitely. Are there some almost as good? Sure. But I just can't imagine. So that's my answer. But now I still haven't answered the question of the video. What's the perfect rifle cartridge? Oh, one last thing about the 30-06. You know, when you can't actually improve something, it's gotta be pretty good. Think about this, the 270, um, the 280, for sure, the 280, the 25-06, the 338-06, all these children of the 30-06, when you actually improve the case, they're like way better. But when you actually improve a 30-06, it's really not much better. It's just very minimal. It's like that bullet caliber and that case were just meant for each other. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Do I think the 30 6 case is the greatest and best case of all time? No. What do I think is the best case of all time? I'm going to give you two honorable mentions. I actually really like the Creedmoor case. I think it's really a cool, efficient design. I'm a huge, actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to give you three honorable mentions. I'm a huge fan of the WSM case. I think it's fantastic. Like it's it's super strong and efficient. I think it's really good. And man, the sentimental heartstrings, I love the 284 case. But I think the greatest case of all time, objectively, is the 308 case. I just it's just so balanced. It's just so Goldilocks. It's just what it, the doctor ordered. It's not the biggest, it's not the best, but man, it's just perfect for what it is. Um, and you just look at the, the 243 and the 260 and the seven millimeter odd eight. I mean, anything that comes from that case is just dynamite. So in my opinion, the best and greatest case is a 308 case. What about bullet? What's the best bullet caliber? What's the best caliber? To me, it comes down to three, six, five, seven, or 7.62. It's gotta be one of those three. They're just kind of right in the middle you know, you got your big African calibers, you got your little varmint calibers, and you got those. Now there's, there's other ones too, six millimeters, six and a quarter, 6.8. But those three, six, five, seven, and 30 are, I just think, perfect. And it really it comes down to me is, where's the best balance between ballistic coefficiency and recoil? Now, obviously the six, five, generally speaking, is gonna have the lightest recoil. I mean, if you compare like a 264 Win Mag to a seven millimeter odd eight, that's not the case. But generally speaking, <clears throat> your 6.5 will have less recoil because it's only gonna get up to about 140 grain bullet with that twist rate. Probably start at 90, get to 140. The seven millimeter is gonna start around 100 and get to about 180. Actually, it goes beyond that. If you have a custom gun, you can probably even get to 195 or so. But I'd say around 100 to 180 is where you normally see it. And then 30 caliber, you know, 110 to 240, maybe even 250 if you have like a PRC. So they're all versatile. I'd say the seven millimeter and the 30 caliber are the most versatile, have the biggest span but what about the high C, the high BC bullet? So for a 6.5 millimeter, it's easy to get it. 143 gram bullet is gonna have like a 625 BC, a G1 BC. That's phenomenal. And that's light recoiling too. 
So what kind of a bullet weight do you have to have for the seven millimeter get to, to get to that same BC? Around 168 grain or so. Not too terribly hard to, to, to find that, you know? But about a 30 caliber? You're probably gonna have about a 210 grain bullet. So you can get the same BC in any caliber, but you're gonna have a thumper <laughs> with that 30 caliber. It's gonna be a 210 grain bullet. And so, in my opinion, the best balance is a seven millimeter. The 30 caliber is just as versatile, but in order to get that high BC, you're really gonna to have to step up to a heavy recoiling round. And the 6.5, even less recoil, but you just don't have, it's just not as versatile. You can't get it up there in those heavier bullets as easy. So I think the seven millimeter is the best caliber of all time which probably goes back to why I picked the seven millimeter odd eight as you know, case and bullet. What about just strictly hunting? So this is something I've, I never talk about. I always talk about hunting efficiency and long range and I put them all together. But what if it's just hunting? Now I did, I did a video about, you know, if you're hunting whitetail, go with this caliber. If you're hunting this animal, go with that caliber. But what if you want to, if it's just hunting, you don't care about efficiency, you don't care about um, long range shooting, but you want a wide swath of animals to hunt. What's the greatest hunting caliber or hunting cartridge? I'm just gonna throw out there, I think probably the seven millimeter Magnum would be my number one. Right behind it, the 300 Win Mag and then right with it, probably the 300 short mag. And you know, a lot, all, all the all the Weatherbees and all the Nosslers are gonna be amazing as well. But if I had to pick just one, and I didn't care anything about long range, I didn't care about recoil, efficiency, how much powder I was using, none of that. I just cared about hunting. And I could only have one, I'd probably go with a seven millimeter Remington Magnum. And that's not one of my personal favorites. That's just what I would pick. Okay, I've procrastinated enough. <laughs> told you what I subjectively think is the best, seven millimeter on eight. I've told you what, in my best, best way I can do it, objectively is the greatest in the 30 out six. Told you what I think is the best case, caliber, and hunting cartridge. But what is the perfect rifle cartridge? But what's my personal favorite? What's my personal favorite rifle cartridge of all time? Let me give you the number two, kind of an honorable mention, it's the 30 6 I love it so much. But my number one, my personal favorite, is the 6.5284. Absolutely love the caliber, absolutely love the case. I think it's a match made in heaven. It's my personal favorite. But I don't consider it the best, and I don't consider it the greatest. Okay. Without any further ado, based on everything I've said and in all my videos before, the perfect rifle cartridge in the world today, it's got to be the 280 Ackley Improved. It's got to be. You take the greatest cartridge of all time case, the 30 6 case, and then you take the best caliber of all time, seven millimeter, which is the bullet in my best cartridge of all time. And you just put it together, 280, and then you actually improve it. And it's gotta be the best. It's gotta be the perfect rifle cartridge. <laughs> okay, so there's an answer for you. I, I didn't just cop out. I gave you an answer, 280 actually improved. Okay, so little channel update here. This will be the end of this playlist for the Perfect Rifle Cartridge Series. I'll continue to talk about rifles and guns later on because I just love it too much. I'm kind of getting close to the end of what I consider to be phase one of my YouTube channel, and it's basically just starting a YouTube channel. I've made 70 videos about a wide range of stuff. I only have a cell phone. The laptop I have is so old, that the, it's hard to even get it hooked up to the internet. I don't even have a camera that's suitable for filming me. So yeah, I use my cell phone, I edit on my cell phone, that's all I have. 
So here pretty soon, maybe in a couple months, I'm gonna start phase two of my YouTube channel, which is gonna be growing the channel. At this point, I've not really been trying to grow it. I've just been trying to establish it. Um, so just go, just going forward, just know that that's what I'm gonna be doing. I do like to talk about other things. I do like to talk about the Bible, a little bit of politics. I try to stay away from that. Healthy living. I love fishing as well. I love the outdoors. I love photography. But probably my favorite thing to talk about is guns and rifles and cartridges and scopes. So that's definitely what I'll continue to talk about. But um, hopefully when I pick this back up in a couple months, you'll see some better production qualities. <laughs> I'll actually have a computer to do the editing on instead of my cell phone. I'll actually have a real camera and a, and a real microphone. So hopefully the production values will be much better. But anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.